Hey guys, welcome to another blue WRX everything swap. You saw me clean up the engine bay here. Quite a bit of grease and grime. Well, not quite a bit, but actually almost nothing to be honest with you. But uh, I did use brake cleaner. Now, some of you may think or know that brake cleaner will, will kind of leave a matte finish. No worries, we're gonna paint this blue actually and then paint this black. Not the whole thing, just spots where the rust is. That's why I was using the wire brush and the rust. We're only getting rid of the flakes, okay? Like this is good, we, I can, we can see some metal and this is also good. You know, no more rust is coming off even with my fingers. And we're gonna treat everything where there is rust, especially this area right over here. With this awesome paint, Chassis Saver by Magnet Paint Paints. And this is the same paint I have used on my Toyota 4Runner. Check this out. What this paint does is it, what's the word, encapsulates the rust so no oxygen moisture gets through that paint so rust is on the parking brake pretty much. That's it. So we're, we're basically trying to slow down the rust. That's the paint you want to use because I've been doing, I did, uh, I'm doing a rear differential on this thing, on, on the Forerunner. This is the rear differential case. And I, I have been tossing this around, hitting it on the wood. Okay, not metal, but you know, wood. And this paint is just not coming off, okay? I mean, I've dropped tools on this, no chips, nothing. This has been on here for maybe a month or so, maybe even less. So it is also very durable. And it's only one coat. They ask for two coats. I only did one coat because I've been spraying, I also sprayed the whole car, my Toyota, with this stuff here, this wax in spray kind of deal. Same as, uh, what do you call those? Uh, say hi to Lucas. Wool no, yeah. Oh yeah, wool wax and some, have, there's one other. Yeah, that's what, yeah. Uh, there's wool wax and there's something else, but this is supposed to be the best five years Every five years of maintenance three to five years depending on where you are wool wax is every one or two years and there's the, the other the one other Fluid film fluid film is a yearly uh, Respray Anyways back to the WRX. We're gonna use the black paint on all the rust areas everywhere and then obviously repainted blue. This is gonna stay black. Repainted black also with just regular spray paint or just leave it with a chassis saver paint. Doesn't matter, just making it look nice. And like I said, put the brakes on the rust. The rear diff is in. I was super easy on, on these hatchbacks. I mean, it should be like that on the 06s and 07s. You got any one? And 05s and 04s. Nice. We're replacing the old sensors. One of them is damaged on this JDM six-speed transmission. Decided to just to replace both of them. Are we taking this apart too? Yeah, just take it off here. We're getting a new shifter. The whole thing is, get, is new. Remember, this was from a junkyard, uh, you know, JDM. So we have to do some maintenance to it. Check it. See what, uh, if there's any maybe oil shaving or metal shavings on the drain plug the harnesses are different on these usdm sensors yeah, yeah remember that's why we had to do exactly the same on um, on the one we had yeah but that was from a much older legacy uh, this is supposedly same make model exactly the same but it's still different because it's jdm this is usdm so we're gonna compare the two here so here are the original usdm plugs Okay, mm. that's the five speed. Maybe they're they're different because they're. No, no, no. I don't know. I have no idea. Anyways, so these are 
oh. round plugs from the USDM and these are kind of squarish JDM plugs here but it's okay wires just two wires they're the same this is a black with white black with white we're gonna splice it halfway or so and you know make a nice connection shrink wrap it and all that stuff and uh plug it back in guys quick update took off the little oil pan just to check you know because it's easy and we do have some shavings on the magnet it's inside and just want to show you how much and this is how much we have all this gooey stuff it's not too bad you know I mean And I don't feel any big chunks. I'm gonna try and this is a strong magnet, by the way. Oh. Right, I'm gonna need two hands for this magnet because this guy is strong. Yeah, I'm not feeling any big chunks, so it's okay. This is just your clutch material. But it's a good thing, you know, to remove the shaving so new ones can stick up. So we're going to do that, clean this off, put new RTV on the little pan, stick it back on, undo this plug, see what's going on in there. It's nice and clean inside. We're going to remove these oil seals, replace them, remove the oil seal back there. And here we have the oil seals. And so this guy, this kind of flat one goes in the rear of the transmission. I believe this is the part number and these guys go on the side these are different part numbers guys here is one and somewhere is the other I don't have it anyways clean right wait wrong place there you go RTV this guy's gonna go I'm gonna oil this here outside and inside Hammer that in. Basically find a socket or something that's going to go on the outside of this lip. Drive it in. All right, update soon. Guys, we get updates. Did quite a bit. As you can see, the transmission is in. Couldn't really show you uh, the outcome, you know, the wiring and basically everything else but because I had people in here so we just kind of me and Lucas we kept on working you know had a little bit more help with the transmission and just kept on working and kind of talking at the same time and couldn't really record anyways this this is what has been done so far so can't really see the harness but it was you know wired zip tied uh, cleaned the transmission uh, wiped it off just a, a bit installed all the new seals cleaned up this area here, brushed the splines, greased up the fork over here. It's actually very, very nice. I'm gonna to have to remove this again to install the throttle bearing, but you know, I'm gonna worry about it later. Right now it's just propped up on a jack so I can actually finish painting this. I, you know, since I had Lucas and all the, you know, extra help here, we figured might as well put the transmission in I thought I'll just lift it and still have room to do a little touch-up on the subframe. Not much of painting that needs to be done on the subframe. It's just here and there a little bit. Mostly it's in this area right over here. Kind of focused on the lower parts. Basically impossible to reach when everything is back in. Anyways, something I want to mention look for bubbles when you're going you know wiping it off that's when you see all the uh, details so i had uh, bubbles in this area here and bubbles in this area here you want to send these down because the brush will not remove the the bubbling rusting paint under the paint you know 
So you want to sand that down because if, 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 even if you paint over it, it's just going to, you know, be several months before it just, you know, pops open. Anyway, so this thing is ready to paint. I am going to paint this bracket here now. Some of you may say, oh, well, why don't you just take it off? Well, taking it off, it's not, ju it's not just this, okay? It may look like it, but it's this whole bracket that holds the ABS pump. It's underneath. It's there, you know. You got to say enough because if i just keep going i which I, i'd love to because that's how i am you know i'm just going to end up restoring the the damn thing and we're not doing we're not restoring this okay we're just kind of freshening it up a little bit making it look nicer and you know putting the brakes on the rust and make it last a little longer you know a few years if we get you know five years probably more because this car is going to get uh, sit uh in the garage it's only going to go out you know on a sunday drive track days and autocrossing it's not a daily you know so it's not gonna the, the, the rusting process is going to be slowed down significantly you know got new brackets the radiator lower brackets those are going back in new so the way the transmission is there is no it's not attached under in any way it's just it's just a jack and the way we did it, we, we moved it up with one guy in the engine bay. He attached the pitch mount here. This is going to get replaced also uh, later on. Because remember, you got to remove this to put the engine in. You want to have the, the transmission, you know, be, to be able to move up and down. And, you know, straight. So those, that big, you know, bracket with the mount, transmission mount, that's going to get installed. Then we're going to rest it on the subframe when it's all painted and dry remove the pitch mount and then the engine can go in all right guys i'm going to give this a coat basically the paint that i showed you using a small brush and then i'm hoping i can i can get a can of act the actual factory paint and it, you know touch up the areas the frame that was uh blue Keep it blue basically make it look nice this is what's done i know I, I did say i'm gonna just touch up the cross member but you know how it goes just wanted to make it look even so the whole I'm, i am gonna go again once it dries i'm gonna go again through it one more time and uh you know do a little touch up then but here we have a few spots i did i forgot to before last update forgot to remove this harness but i did and i painted this whole thing this is the area that's prone to rust okay and then the whole thing under the battery tray this all always rusts because of battery acid in there and then uh just a few spots on top here on top here now i would love to remove the fuse box and you know see what uh what surprises are under there but maybe maybe another day and then i did go ahead and paint the subframe here on this side and then behind oh we gotta run <gasps> all right so and then this whole thing here and same on the other side the other side is much less rusty for some reason. You know, rust works in mysterious ways. Let's fix this run. Now, I plan to use this brush tomorrow. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a bag and just wrap it around so it doesn't dry up. Guys, got an update. Got some paint. Blue. Rally blue, not just any blue. Rally blue. I did spray a little test. To compare the rally blue with engine bay blue and this is what we got so this is the test area straight on the black paint i mean well it is it is different but we're gonna spray it anyway obviously i can't spray the whole engine bay that would be nice but i'm not removing this stuff no way i'm thinking i'm just gonna probably leave the bracket black actually it was black wasn't it 
tape this up, tape up some of the stuff, disconnect this, whatnot, and uh, just kind of spray away. Maybe leave this black? Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to pound around this for a little bit and get you an update. Guys, we got an update. I gotta say, I like the color. I was gonna shoot clear on it, but I am not going to because it's gonna be even more shiny. I'm sure I missed a spot or two. But we're gonna see how it looks once I remove this, you know, my art. think got a little blend going over here well not really <laughs> we got a line going here Def definitely no blend here oh forgot to untape this bracket oh yeah just do a little gotta do a little touch up there but uh, yeah Gotta say, not too bad. Okay, just gotta reattach the grounds. This harness here and engine bay ready.